we've got ourselves a convoy! Well, they're calling it a caravan, which might be confusing to some, considering Trump always complained about migrant caravans in his xenophobic rants, but don't worry, the xenophobia is coming. So this small group got together. Remember, this is in New York City, and they've got basically no one. According to reports, the lead vehicle had like blacked out license plates and sirens and lights telling people to move, and the police really should have gotten involved and shut the whole thing down then, but they let them get all the way to Trump Tower and then made them move on. It lasted like 15 minutes. So then what do they do? They're all bricked up, excited for Trump. They all went together to the Nut Here Rally. Excuse me. It's actually called the Not Here Rally 2. And I looked to see who's running it, and I recognize the name. It's a guy from a viral video that was throwing pizza over a fence, yelling, give us pizza or give us death, because air pollution coming from wood-fired and coal-fired pizza in New York, they might have to put some scrubbers on the output of that smoke because it's detrimental to the health of locals. And what was this rally about? Well, they had a little speech outside of an area that was supposed to be eventually made into a migrant center, and then they blocked the road for a while, refusing to leave. Police are on the scene, and eventually the message being spread out changed to, since you have refused to leave the roadway, you will be placed under arrest on the charge of disorderly conduct. If you do not cooperate and accompany the arresting officer to the prisoner transport vehicle, or if you resist arrest, you may be charged with additional crimes. And then they got arrested and they stood around and people yelled at the police and they're really angry. And of course, you can look at the multiple YouTube live streams and chats and the people there. So much xenophobia and hate just spewing out of these people's mouths. And of course, what do you see in the background of it? You have flags against Joe Biden and they're trying to wrap themselves in an American flag while also being against immigration. You gotta love it. Trump supporters in a nutshell.